the third part, like uh, everything good comes in threes, of a very brave and courageous um, statement, which I admire because she really speaks against the masses who just shut up any criticism. And by the way, right, watching everybody pretend this person was an upstanding human being who just at the age of 42 at, in five prison stints was going to get his life together. I mean, it's embarrassing. We are embarrassing in that regard, right? We, this is why we have a cycle and a toxic culture because nobody wants to tell the truth in black America. It's so easy to be a victim. It's so easy to ask black, white people to bow down. Not only they, a lot of people are. I could say the same thing about Jewish community always playing the victim and we don't take enough responsibility of us victimizing ourselves by not taking responsibility for our, for our mistakes. Apologize and do all these things for us. It's crap. It's crap. It's a lie. It's a farce. Our biggest problem is us, okay? It's why we don't talk about it when black on black crime happens. It's why we don't talk about it when 40, 40 black people are killed in one weekend during Memorial Weekend um, in Chicago. We don't want to talk about any of that stuff. We don't want to talk about Baltimore. We don't want to talk about New Jersey. We don't want to talk about any of these places where black people are being slaughtered by other blacks because that, exactly. would, that would mean that we had to be personally accountable, right? That would mean. I think that is the biggest criticism of African Americans why they're killing their own people. Uh, I do think, though, we have to think about the big trauma of slavery and abuse of African Americans for centuries. Um, and every community has a different way of reacting. Um, we have to give credit where credit is due to African Americans who are rising above uh, such a big, big trauma. Personal responsibility. We don't do personal responsibility in our community. We don't do it. We blame white people. Right? We only point a camera to white people. Not everybody's blaming white people, but let's not generalize. But the people that do, I think it's racism just as much as b blaming black people. I totally agree with her. Well, when they do something, even though we do it at a way higher rate to ourselves, right? We celebrate our drug dealers. We're the only community, right, that would ever create hashtags to free people from prison because they committed crimes. Like, free me. That's not true. Look at Israel. We freed a woman that was accused of drug smuggling in Russia. We free people constantly just because they're Jewish and give them Israeli citizenship, which is why we have so many criminals here. And it's just disgusting, absolutely disgusting, the way being Jewish allows you